talk about another big box Bandai Premium s exclusive. Uh, thanks YouTube for letting me do this and have money to do it even more. More. Oops. <coughs> yes, this is the Legend Rider Lock Seed Set Bandai exclusive. Oh boy, pretty much every of the logs that appeared in the movie was for the sole purpose of selling more toys. In this case, it's... Yeah, it's still a toy, but you know, not many kids or adults are going to buy this for their kids, because this does cost quite a bit of money. <coughs> this is the uh, shipping box, which uh, in this case is actually essential uh, for keeping the whole thing intact, because... Oh, well, you'll see in a sec. Oh, uh, Hong Kong warning stuff, because it's been shipped in Hong Kong. It's actually pretty often. This box didn't survive me too well. I don't care how, how well this box survives because it's here to solely protect this awesome box that you'll see in a sec. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll see why it's essential. Because as always, there's a bit of tissue paper inside to protect it. Uh, but once you put it out the first time, it's not really going back in that way. But yeah, here's the box. And um, the box looks really, really nice. I'm mean, just looking at it. Just, 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 If you want a sound demo, you can uh, head over. There'll be another video uploaded that's just the sounds. Uh, I'll be doing them in the uh, right about. So you can just watch it there. But uh, so I'm going to go for review this. Uh, I'm also playing the sounds through here, but I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing it as we go along. And this is going to be a pretty long video because there's a lot of lock seats in here. So. Uh, yeah, but this is the front of the box, really nice. Uh, the other side, this is sort of the black and white red version, which uh, I'd say it's even cooler. I really like this side of the box. Uh, let's see. Yep, Bandai logo on one end, and the other side is the Shocker logo. Hooray! On the top of the box, oops, long way around. It should be this way. Some of you probably can see why I said uh, this really needs a protective box. That this is the same uh, rider kick in the uh, Ichigo lock scene, and at the bottom uh, you just have all the information stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. See here, this whole box is just a sleeve and it's like wobbling, so you really need that outer box to uh, hold it in, which is a shame uh, unless you can find a hard plastic shell because uh, I don't really like hiding this. This is really cool. I'm gonna have to uh, like sort out my shelf and uh, deal with it. And then it gets even cooler. Now, on both sides you have you can see the lock seats. Oopsie, you can only see the secret lock seats. Uh, so <clears throat> on this side, on this side you can see uh, X, Amazon Stronger, Sky Rider, Super One, uh, Shadow Moon, Shocker Rider, and the Shocker lock seat. Tell me all these, all these, all these. Ichigo, Nigo, Free Free, Rider Man, Zekros, Black, Black RX, Shin, Seto, J. And uh, this is the. Let's get the top of the boxes. So, I should buy the lock seats. And on the bottom, it just tells you, whoops, upside down. Uh, uh, these, this is quite, quite heavy because there's a lot of electronics and batteries going on in there. And the other side of the box. Now, this is so cool. On one side, you can get this image. Put this together. Uh, uh, line it up. Uh, this is so awesome. I have to pause and get this just right, pause the video and take a photo of this. I can just line up just straight. And then it goes focus. And there we go. Yep. This is really cool. I'm going to turn this off so we can have like more natural. There we go. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to photo this. On the other side we have Ichigo in the middle. This is really awesome. And then you have Set Cross and X. So cool. Why Set, uh, set, set Cross and X? Because these were also the other two uh, live action uh, actors to come back for Kamen Rider, uh, <laughs> Kamen Rider Taizen Showa versus Heisei. Which is where all these lock seats uh, appeared. So we're going to go through uh, one box at a time. Uh, I should stop holding the box like that, I'm damaging it. Let me just slide it out. Oh, there are instructions in there which um, I forget they exist. So much so that I actually crumbled it up. Whoopsies. 
Uh, how can that happen? I put the instructions in after the last copy. No, I don't know. So you got. Mm, wanna, let me just unfold it a little bit more. So here we are. Standard lock seed uh, instructions. You got the ching ching sound, like unlock sound, uh, henshin sound, and then one, two, and three attacks. And uh, one of them has a fourth sound. This is black. Huh. Um, is that black color? Not sure. I can't read Japanese. But that one has like an extra sound in there. So, um, yeah, awesome. And both packs are secured this way. This is finally good, uh, in my opinion, good lock seed packaging. It saves the most space and it doesn't waste any space at all. It just gives you just enough to protect the lock seeds and not too much to waste space. So that's good. And these pop bits pop really nice. And of course, all of them have the little plastic tab battery tabs in them. Uh, these are all capsule style lock seeds and so no lights or anything. But the sound quality is good uh, for a sound toy compared to, say, candy toys, of course. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go through them one by one. I'm going to play all the sounds. And uh, I don't have the Ichigo lock seed anymore, but I'm going to tell you it's different. Just as the uh, Black RX lock is different from the uh, Candy Toy version. Not just in sound quality, but what the sounds you get as well. Zoom. So this is Ichigo lock seed. Uh, the color is actually... Um, I think this one's more metallic, more shiny. It just looks... looks more expensive than the uh, candy toy as far as I can remember. It also has transparent plastic here so if you do want to mod this and put a light in there yourself you can because it's transparent. Uh, it's transparent, transparent plastic but it does have a shiny metallic sticker underneath. Uh, same overall uh, design as the uh, candy toy version. All of these will have the flip back lock and this looks this look really cool. So sounds uh, red button on the back. Now I do have the uh, 15 Showa block seed, so we can compare some of that. See the color is a lot like more uh, vibrant than this one. Both of these are set to Ichigo right now, so that's Henshin. That's the thing already, there's already a difference because um Now if you want all these show riders doing uh, squash, sparking, ole, then you get the 15 block seat, whereas these, they, uh, all the block seats in this pack, first have their normal attack, second one is always the sound of their bikes. It'll say the name of the bikes and then you have the woo sound come along, and the third one will be like the last attack. So then you're thinking, well Black Art X, the candy toy version, didn't have the bike sounds. So here, it does have the bike sounds, and then the third one, instead of having Robo Rider and Bio Rider, Robo Rider and Bio Rider are combined into the same sound at the end, which is kind of lame, sort of. You'd think, you know, Black Art X could have an extra sound, but no. But let's listen to the rest of the sounds that we didn't listen properly. Shin Cyclone. That's Ichigo. Let's put them. Let's put Ichigo in the middle here. Let's see him in a sec. 
We have Nigo, which is the pretty much the exact same Loxie, but just different colors. There's black here, which uh, is a solid black, so he doesn't have a transparent color. Um, and of course, it says Ma Ca Mass Rider 2 here. It also says Mass Rider. Does the other one say Mass Rider? Yep, the candy auto. Everything says Mass Rider. So it wasn't like Guy Memories where they weren't sure what to go with. And if you open it up, you have the belt there and his color, and he's doing a Rider Punch. Oops, why the punch right here? Yeah, it's kind of laying the cheating there because it's the same sound. They could have had like the normal cyclone, couldn't they? Now, I don't know how well you can listen to that from the camera or the uh, video on YouTube, but that was a really clear sound. Uh, for such a retro sound, anyway, it was really sharp in my ears. It was really clear, but it was just perfect. It sounded good. Uh, it's really good sound check in here. Because my dad would probably say, David, it sounds so cheap and stuff. <laughs> anyway, here's 3 3. Uh, I like to call this pretty much the uh, Camerata Christmas. I mean, just look at this color. This is Christmas right there. Awesome, and this this whole show pack. This is probably one of my favorite boxes. Just looks so good, and I like Free Free. Yep, this is uh, for um, we Yugen. I think I'll put them. Yeah, I'll put them. I put the lock seeds. Uh, no, no, I'll just follow all this. I was gonna say put them, group them by. Yeah, I'll group them by the, the sounds that they do. Obviously, this goes with the Chinese sound of Yugen. Uh, I got the Fufi belt here and his little uh, little signal like uh, survey stick, satellite stick thing. I can't remember what it's called, but he shoots into the air. It's like, haha, now I know where everyone is somehow. Yeah, really love this color locks. It's so awesome. Again, super awesome, super awesome sounds. Uh, put you against the left. Uh, I do love the longer sounds as well. It's like they put the whole thing and didn't cut it off, and that's really cool. Next, we have Rydaman. Uh This is my least favorite Loxy because it's got a face there, not only that, but it seems like the nose is like a different piece of plastic. This is huge black line going around it. I mean, the helmet bit's fine, but just this bit looks. Uh, I mean, it looks as good as it can, I guess, for Loxy, but uh, this nose bit really bothers me. And um, yeah, yellow inside and uh, hook arm, uh, rope arm would have been nice. Uh, God, that's the rope, I guess, with a little hook on it. Yeah, Who whoopsies. I mean, the coloring overall is okay. It's just the whole thing comes. I mean, it still looks nice, uh, but it's my least favorite out of the lot. Because he has the Gaim sound, so we'll go next to Nigo. Next we have 
X. Right there. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's this one's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure how to how to feel about this color scheme. I mean, obviously, it's his, but uh, the Loxy in this color scheme it looks really cool. But there's something about it that makes it not look so cool. Like my brain says, this should be really cool, but no, nah, I'm not sure. Oh well, maybe I'll, maybe it's that retro color feel. I think a lot of people will like this about there, and of course his little staff. Uh, that was uh, the uh, Bravo faceplate. So that's that. Next we have Amazon, which uh, really unique Loxy. This whole orange thing going on. It's pretty nice. And all these blues, they are different color blues. You see, there, even though the focus it's not focused, you see it's a different blue. That's really cool. Uh, different blues all around. This is like the middle of uh, Rider Man and Ichigo Nico's blue. It just looks so nice. And this this whole Amazon pattern there. Um, yeah, it's just printed, but it almost looks like it's been uh, molded in. Looks so good. There's a little belt buckle there, and the uh, geeky bracelet that's not attached to the Gaga bracelet. <laughs> uh, say that with a straight face, but you know, other people who don't know Japanese uh, otaku stuff and. and Yep, I'm going to be reviewing the SH Figure Art Jungler. Awesome, because uh, that one goes with the Bravo, Bravo uh, face place. Well, I don't have any uh, uh, Baron ones yet. Stronger belt and his electric kick right there. Oops, super cool. Uh, yeah, this one uh, not very special to me. Uh, it's just sort of like, eh. I mean, it looks good, but I just don't find it too special. Like uh, the color scheme, it's okay. Um, I guess sort of me. Another guy in one. The other riders are getting a bit jealous now. Sky Rider. Pretty neat. Has an orange one as well. But uh, this orange again, it's a bit different to the Amazon. It's a bit darker. Uh, so there's a little um, flying mechanism here in this belt. Face print is pretty awesome. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty shiny. This is uh, his uh, newer look, like his lighter colored look.
Finally, I uh, have another one for the Yugen. That was a pretty long one. There you go, second for we you can. Uh, last one in the first box is Super One. Uh, nothing too special, just silver and black here. It's uh, it's okay, I guess. Got his belt right there, and little uh, arm switches things that he can use to change his mode. That's another one for Ryugen, goes right there, and that's the first box, phew. Next we have Zekuos, uh, which has the transparent plastic colour of, yeah, coconut mints, sure. Uh, there's this little belt there, and there's a little, uh, like, bomb throwing star. And uh, Lost itself, the helmet is pretty nice. I, I like the design of uh, Stackwars a lot when the SH figure came out. I just, like, got it right away. Um, it, it's quite cheap, actually, this figure. So not, I think not a lot of people were going for it, but I was. I was like, oh, bloody hell, that's cool that this one's cheaper than some of the other Showa stuff. Um, it's just, I just really like his suit, whole suit design. It's it's for a Showa rider back in that era. It was very, it was, way, it was a lot more complex than uh, some of the other stuff. Uh, and this lock seed is pretty cool. Uh, this this color here, it's sort of like not one of, what, will never be one of my favorites, but I really I do like this white color that contrasts the red. It's pretty nice, and this this red is more crimsony than all the other ones. Cyborg ninja. Mm. That's another for Garin. Still none for Baron yet. Now we have Black. Awesome. They they went apart from like they they tried to put as much black in this as possible. Uh, I mean this this plastic kit could have been yellow, but no no no. They wanted this to be black, as black as they can get. How much more black can it get? None. None more black. <laughs> ah quotes. There's the black belt, Kingstone. A black kick, of course. <laughs> black sun.
I think this is ha this has to have the, my favorite sounds out of all these so far. The the Kingston Flash was pretty good. The bike sound was really awesome. It was just wasn't just like the vroom the rev sound. It had like a whole other thing going on. And the final Kingstone like the, the rad kick was with all the little bleepy sounds was really cool. But I would have preferred the last one was rather punch and kick because in the black series that always happens they'd be like rider kick punch and they'd be like oh the monster's like oh my god i'm super hurt but like, rider kick oh come on not again <laughs> so another guy one oh well I'll put them back there for a sec i'll reorganize it when i'm all done then uh we go to black rx this is the uh, legend one and this is the uh candy toy <clears throat> you can see here that this the coloring here is a lot deeper and a lot shinier and uh yeah, just just a lot more vibrant. This one has a solid green, of course. This one has transparent, which looks so much nicer than solid green. Uh, the sticker is more glossy, more reflective. Um, it's just printed slightly better. Uh, although I'm pretty sure this one's not stuck on quite right, it's slightly off. And here, again, it's a lot. Don't even see. Uh, it's easier to compare with my actual eyes. This one just looks a lot sharper. Like the colors pop more on the stick of the Legend one. So just to compare the sounds then, uh, we'll listen to the Candy Toy version first. Already you can hear this one's a lot louder and a lot clearer. A lot longer sound than this one. Okay, so that's Robo Rider, that one has the bike, finally. So just for that, you can't get rid of the Candy Toy version for already have it because uh, the Robo and Bi um, Bio Rider sounds a lot better on here. The one here, I mean, this this is the complete sound. Obviously, the sound's a lot clearer here, and they sort of combine both the sounds together to make one sound. But that's not accurate, is it? I mean, they don't combine. So this one have that sound for that. So finally, one for Baron. Hooray! Finally, it's about damn time. Uh, next we have Shin, uh, which is probably the most unique ones because, you know, Shin isn't like all the other riders. Uh, I always thought the Shin movie was pretty much a werewolf movie plus uh, Resident Evil. Because the final boss is pretty much just a tyrant, really, that had control over his own mind, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, because it doesn't really have a belt, so he just has his face there. Uh, I mean, they kind of put, put, his, put his abs here, maybe. And he's like, his little pose there. And the whole texture here, it does feel really good in the hand. Um, yeah, his little antenna is also almost covering the shin word, but this is uh, this is really good texture. Um, like this is just high quality mold and paint here. This is, I mean, this isn't one of my favorite Loxies, but in, in order to judge it, comparing it to the actual suit, this is a really good Loxie. Um, the actual green itself is actually really nice. This, this, this. this this the whole Loxy color scheme is really nice. Just uh, I don't really like Shin. I mean, I like Shin, but I, the film was pretty sucky. Let's be honest.
Now it's been watching Spino attack in the film, Spine Cutter. <laughs> Stop burping. Next we have Sit All Arms. Yeah, yellow is makes sense here, I guess, but it just looks a bit weird. I mean, you know, not in a bad way. It just looks a bit different, which is good. All these oxy look different color scheme wise. So yellow, it's interesting. Also, that's a little hopper here. Um, yeah, it's, it makes me really want to have mango jelly. Uh, the helmet itself is pretty cool. Um, don't remember this his helmet green being this sort of matte color, but uh, well, well. Another one for game. Next we have J. A lot darker green. Still has that sort of jungle, um, sort of mossy green to it. Again, I don't think the colors are that accurate. I don't think. Um, oh well. At least the uh, the this body is still. Still unique so far, I had to come up with all these different show locks eat and they managed to make them all look really unique, which I'm going to give them points for. Doesn't really have a belt, but there you go, and he, ha he has his own other flying grasshopper thing. Now, this, if it's a flying one, then it's going to be... Um... Oh, not a cricket. No, it's still a grasshopper. Oops. Forgot what bug it is. I don't know, it's a moth, that's why, that's it, it's a moth, I'm some kind of a weird leaf moth. Yeah, calm down. That was a really long kick, I guess, because he's super massive. Next, we have Shadow Moon. It was originally hidden until just before being released. Uh, very silver, very green, which is what he should be. Really cool. Uh, his belt there. And uh, his uh, Satan Saber. King of Century, finally another Baron. He doesn't have a bike sound, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of these has going on on this uh, Loxy, which is that's really nice. That's finally having a second one for Baron is always good. Next we have Shocker Rider number one. Pretty much uh, same 
overall mold as uh, Ichigo and Nigo. Uh, let's see if I just compare them here. Okay, it's a bit, bit different mold. Um, I mean, different paint job, of course. So we see the inside is going to be pretty similar, but he's kicking in a different direction because he's evil. And not a yellow, but the yellow is again a bit different from the other yellow. So, yeah. uh, the uh, blue is no, the blue is the same kind of. No, no, no. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's almost the same. I swear, slightly darker. So again, different colors. So that's another one for game, and then finally the last one, we have the leader of Shocker. What a Shocker, ha 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 ha. Uh, again, slightly different red and silver, uh, nothing too special with this really. Um, if you open it up, you have his one of his real faces and the Shocker logo underneath. Not too special with this one I think. Um, honestly I was thinking that's going to be like, when when I didn't know, I thought that was going to be like the like charged up stronger or electric taco like his girlfriend it's about taking over the world Oh, defeat come riders or something. <laughs> Suicide attack for shocker. So when we got the Gaia Memories final set with all the Shoa riders and the power up forms of the Heisei riders, we got screwed over and now we know why. They were saving it up all all the sounds for this release. They're like Hey, let's just do the bare minimum so people buy it anyway because it's bloody guy memories and everyone loves double. But then we're gonna release the lock seats like a year later that has all the uh, proper sounds that just, they didn't they didn't uh, skip out on. <sighs> Damn it, Bandai! But if you didn't get the guy memories, you love show riders, you love sound toys, then you, this is pretty much a must pick up. The 15 show lock seat was pretty cool having all the henshin sounds. But it, let's be honest, this set not only sounds nice, has a lot of sounds with each lock seat that feels pretty much complete, uh, apart from Black Arcs being a bit iffy with the candy toy thing going on, and also just overall looking absolutely gorgeous. I do have to commend them for having different colors for every single lock seat, different combination of colors for every single lock seat, and making them all unique. Like even you rub the face off all the lock seats, just had the name on them, they'll all look very different and very unique, and that's really cool. This actually made one of me has made me want to get all the missing Heisei riders that I don't have, or the ones that I sold off. Oopsies. Just to have a complete set. <laughs> Help me, I have problems. But yeah, uh the price is going for, uh I can sort of understand it. it, it with all the different colours and all the different modes, apart from the Ichigo mode that they can repeat three times. Uh everything is completely new, pretty much. Uh, new modes, new sounds, really good quality sounds, a lot of batteries in here, a lot of different colors, they didn't repeat. Uh, this isn't, a, they didn't just throw this at us, they actually planned this and made a quality product. It looked good in the movie, it looks good here. 
Um, they didn't cheap out on this this time. So yeah, if you like Shaw Riders and you kind of like lock seats, then this is pretty much a must if you can afford it. Uh, like I said, this is pretty expensive, especially if you're living outside of Asia because the shipping costs are going to kill you. Uh, these, the whole box does come, does become quite heavy when, uh, when you try to ship or pick it up. So the shipping fee isn't going to be cheap. So if you're traveling to Asia, trying to pick it up in one of the, sh one of the shops, if you see it, like, uh, like one of the uh, geeky toy places. So if you're in Hong Kong, I can tell you, head to uh, Inns Point in Yamate and, he's, and some, one of the sellers there still has like a few boxes of these. You better hurry, but it better be gone soon. I'm gonna get this online, and it's gonna be sucks to be you because you're gonna have to at least pay another third of the price that it's being sold for. So, ouch. But you would this. This is a set that you would like. This is a good set. Mm. Uh, even though there's no LED lights, it's just capsule release. It's still satisfying. So. Uh, if you're still here, <laughs> thank you for watching this really, really long video. There's a lot of lock seats in here. Um, my favorite lock seat would be uh, the, the black one but for the sounds uh, and Shadow Moon. I really like the little clicking sound. This is footsteps, so if you were cosplaying a Shadow Moon, you could be like click, click, click. Uh, and I like uh, V3's look overall because it just looks so nice. So. Subscribe, just comment below, because take care and have a nice day. And of course, if you're still here and you just want to see it being activated and played in the belt, then by all means head over to that video. Bye.